Hey guys, this is Harpsar123 here, and today I'm doing a special tutorial on a uh, weapon. So, this is the weapon. It, uh, my friend Hi1145 and I developed it. Uh, you could stick it on practically any mech. You can make it however big you want. But, essentially, this is a defense mechanism. Uh, you, you would, of course, replace these spinning parts with uh, bumpers or... Uh, spikes or TNT, but um, I will show you how it works. So, once you go over here and unanchor the parts, I've got all the motors turned off. But once you turn it on, it gets into this motion, it rotates, and it will completely protect you from literally anything. So, um, let's get into it. Let me reload this guy up. Okay, so what you're gonna need this red part is just a normal part that I go got from over there, but it's I just colored it red and uh, sized it however big I wanted. Uh, <clears throat> let's get all my presets correct. There, a little bit further out. Oh. That looks about good, more or less. There we go. Okay. Next thing you have to do is just grab a random part. Um, I'm just going to grab this part, and I'll grab a seat as well. I'd suggest removing the uh, hinge on the seat, but you don't have to do that. I guess I just f uh, feel like doing that. It's classic. Let's make a new outline. There we go. And I am going to put everything I want this to be. So I only want this smooth plastic, and I want this one smooth plastic. Okay. So now I'll stick the seat right in the center, this one right in the center. I'm going to scale mine down by 0.1. I'm really just building, essentially just building the seat, if I can get that part. Okay, so I'll have to go 0 0.05, because it just doesn't want to work. There we go. Okay. Bring it back to point 0.5. And I'm just going to make a simple square this tutorial. But you have to remember to put your seat on there, just like I did. Okay? You can use any of these motors, counterclockwise, clockwise, it doesn't matter. I really do suggest that you don't do the one unless you want a zero delay time between them. Um, but it goes unbelievably fast and it can lag you out, so I really recommend that you don't use them. But um, I think blue, these are blue ones, are pretty good. I'll try a green one, because uh, why not? So, first thing that I have to do is I should probably make it smooth plastic. I'm going to scale this down by um, 0.1 again. Hopefully, it this one works and it's not like the seat. It's like the seat. Okay, so there we go. There. And now I'm just going to scale it to whatever size suits me. I guess this will, no, a little bit bigger. That, that, that one won't work. Okay, it's directly in the center. Next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab a part. And do I have anchored on? Anchor parts. I hope so. There's that one. Why must everything be so difficult? 
No. So, I'm really just building the design. Um, it's not that hard of one to follow. It's just taking me forever because it just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Not today. Okay. I recommend that you get it to a reasonable height, like that wool. Let's see. I recommend that it's about that high overhead. I'll actually scale it one more just to be safe. And I'm actually going to remove this. I'm going to make my motor first. So, first, what I need to do is I should put this on here. Put this on here. Put this on here. Put this one on here. And I will grab another part in one second. Okay, sorry. Um, we're back. So now what you need to do is you should grab your parts and put them on the end of your actual structures, like so. Okay. It's somewhat of a laggy server, but it will do. Okay, so now, oh yeah, this lag is killing me. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, this is bad. There we go. So that is essentially the design. Now you can continue with it. Um, this is where, for instance, you can add a bumper, which I will do for this tutorial. I'm only going to do one of them for this tutorial, but you could do anything pretty much. You could put another uh, s set of weapons even further down from that. There we go. So that is essentially the uh, structure. So I'm actually going to build up these walls so that I'm able to drive my vehicle. I'm going to save this as mechanical octopus. You could save it as anything that you want, though. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to unanchor the parts. I'm, as you can see, they already start spinning around. Once I press Q. Oh, wrong one. I mean E. You can see that they stop. And I'm going to delete this. Once you hop up, you're able to start moving around. And this works as a perfect defense against pretty much anything. Because it covers your surroundings. And you have surprising agility. And you could build up your speed that way. And um, it will literally like tear through anything that comes at you and it protects you from all sides <laughs> so let's delete all of this so if uh, you guys like this tutorial Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps. And um, I thank you guys for your support. And uh, don't forget to uh, send me feedback and suggestions for new videos. So uh, I'll see you all next time.